for this recipe, you need mints, a packet of Coleman's high mint, some grated cheese. On this occasion, I'm using grated mozzarella. A tin of vegetable soup or a high quality soup of your choice. Your potatoes, which you need to mash down. You can also buy already mashed potatoes. We normally do use normally mashed potatoes, but we had these potatoes to use up. So, come back to me in a second once I've mashed up the potatoes. So as you can see, I've mashed the potato. I've added a little bit of butter and uh, a drop of milk to make it nice and fluffy. So what I'm doing next is I'm going to brown off the mints. So I've added a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And then next what I'll do is get the mints. Take off the paper back in. And I'll add it. Why the reason I'm using a wok is because with a wok you can get right in there, open up the mints, there's a nice big surface area to be able to work your way around. Obviously I have already washed my hands um, before I've done this, just in case you are wondering. And as you can see I'm breaking up all that mint, make sure it's all lovely and cooked. And I'm not adding any grease or oil or anything to this. I'm going to cook it in its own oils and fats. And as you can see, I've got that broken down there. So as you can see, I've drained that all off now, taken away all its natural fats, and you're now left with the mint. Next stage is to use your vegetable soup. So on this occasion we use a tin vegetable soup. You can use fresh vegetable soup. If you um, do make your own homemade vegetable soup, you can use that, but we're using tin. So what I'm gonna do is open up my tin of vegetable soup. Pour it in. What I always do with this is, with the tin, keep it, and I'll add a little bit of water. About a quarter of the way up of the water. So what I'm going to do next, let's get my cottage pie mix. Sprinkle that over the mixture, making sure I'm not put it, clotting it into one area because nobody likes the mix. So, so anyway, so I'll do that, and then I'm just going to heat up. That's it. So that's now heating up. Using my spoon, I'm going to fold it in and out to get that mixture. Oh, the aromas of it, it's lovely. I do love this stuff. You could really, in theory, you probably eat this on its own. You don't need to make it into a cottage pie. It's quite a nice mixture to have on its own, but you know, obviously it always tastes better if it's a nice cottage pie. Mm. So what I'm gonna do now, is that little bit of water I've added, I'm going to pour a little bit in, not a huge amount, still got a bit of water there, just to give it a nice bit of gravy to cook in. The aromas are just so nice on this. So, that's feeding it in, and I can still see it's not quite gravy enough on there for me, so I'm going to add a bit more water. Make sure I've caught all that um, Coleman's um, pie mix into it. And like I say, this is a very easy, quick meal you can make if you're at home 
um, you just finished work, you just want something wholesome on a cold winter's night, we're having it on a Sunday, you know, it's just, it really fills you up. You don't need to really add anything else. Ourselves, sometimes what we do do is um, we'll buy the steamed vegetable packs from most supermarkets where you can put them in the microwave for a few minutes and we add that to it because you've got the gravy already in this sauce which will um, go with the um, vegetables and it does, it really is a wholesome meal so anyway, so that is that stage done and as you can see, nice gravy, nice mixture and it hasn't taken very long at all to make that there you go next stage is now to pour it into our oven proof dish like so. But you can see what I mean about using a wok, it's just that bit more room and it's so much easier when you're, um, so you can't use a saucepan by all means and if you've got a big saucepan you can use that, you know, you don't need to use a wok, it's just I find it a lot easier to be able to get all your mixture in there and then what I do is I just level it out in my pan. That. The next part is to get your mashed potato. So this can be quite hard sometimes. I have been known to use a python bag, but it's just making sure you get enough leveled across the way. So what I do is I pour a little bit on each way. And what I do next is I grab my fork. I've got a fork now. Because it doesn't look like I've eaten it, so what I do is I get my fork and I bring all that stuff in. And then, as you can see, I start to bring it all round. Before you know it, that bit has got everything covered. make sure you try and get a nice even you know it's not to look like a million dollars you're never gonna get it looking like a million dollars unless you really try you know this is a nice quick easy meal that you can just make in like less than half an hour it takes about 10 minutes just to brown off in the oven and it's not that hard to do at all the next day is to put a bit of cheese on top you don't have to add the cheese, you may decide that you don't want the cheese if you're trying to live a bit healthier. Um, but for us, it's, we love a little bit of cheese, it just helps to finish it all off. So I do that. And then I get my herbs, and I just give them a little sprinkle over the top. And a last little bit is a little tiny bit of pepper like that and now that is ready for the oven the next stage you'll see is when it comes out of the oven so with the oven what i do is i do it to around 180 degrees um, on the electric fan oven and i put it in there for about 20 minutes just to make sure that nicely and browns off okay we'll come back to us in 20 minutes time Okay. And there's a cottage pie for less than five pounds, nothing's a fan.